The family of a man who died at the San Diego Central Jail earlier this week is demanding answers. Thank you for being with us tonight. I'm Kimberly Hunt. And they are saying they don't believe the Sheriff's Department's claims that Jarrell Lacey died of natural causes. Tonight, they held a vigil in his honor. Our ABC 10 News reporter Laura Acevedo is joining us now live with the story. Laura. And Kimberly, the family now has a team of local attorneys, and they are hoping that that will help them find out more about what led up to Jarrell's death. <laughs> Emotions are still raw for Vicki Lewis, the mother of 38 year old Jarrell Lacey, an inmate at the San Diego Central Jail who died in custody earlier this week. On Tuesday, the Sheriff's Department announced Lacey's primary cause of death was due to blood clots in his legs, but his family says they feel things don't add up. On the 8th, my son had gave me a call, uh, roommate had gave me a call and said that my son head was busted. And three days later, after that happened, my son was gone. Lacey had been jailed since last August, suspected of a number of charges, including auto theft and hit and run. His mom says that shouldn't have been a death sentence, explaining that he had issues with mental health and was instead placed with the general population. Through their attorneys, the family is now demanding the release of video footage of Lacey and the events surrounding his final hours. He already went through so much and had a hard life, and he didn't have to suffer and go out in jail like this. The Sheriff's Department says Lacey was evaluated late Monday for complications of chest pain and shortness of breath and was set to be transported to a hospital when he went into medical distress. They say despite CPR, Lacey died at the trauma center. The family attorney says Jarrell had no known medical conditions that would explain his death. All the officer that was involved for them to do time, get put behind justice, bars, justice, justice. justice. Yes. Now we did reach out to the sheriff's department after hours and are waiting to hear back. We will update you as soon as we get a response from the department. Laura Acevedo, ABC 10 News.